This here war on incompetence just don't get any easier, now does it? Another story of incompetence is coming out of the woodwork, folks. It appears a young little boy by the name of Hunter Yelp, six years old from Colorado, has been expelled from his school and has been branded a sexual harasser, a title that is now on his permanent record. Why is it on his permanent record? Why is he expelled from school? Because he kissed a little girl on the hand. I didn't make this up. Look it up. Really? This is what it's come down to? A simple, hey, Hunter, you might not want to be doing that. Or, a Hunter, I'm going to separate y'all if y'all don't quit acting out like that. Is that really not enough anymore? Have we... Has, it, has the situation gotten that extreme to where you have to brand this poor kid a sexual harasser? Really? You know what, folks? It just goes to show that we've got our priorities all in a tizzy. You know, we live in an age where there's a video circulating on YouTube of a three-year-old kid in a third-world country smoking cigarettes. We live in a society today in which the taxpayers of Massachusetts have to pay for a death row inmate sex change operation. But yet, we're just too misguided to recognize that a six-year-old little boy is a sexual harasser for kissing a girl on the hand? Really? Oh, man. I tell you what. Nothing is simple anymore. It's all got to be some complex, drawn-out, bureaucratic explanation for everything. And if I'm elected your governor and the Texas Independence Party sweeps the board, gaining the majority in the House and Senate, I promise you we will break away from this madhouse and we will make sure that Texas is a free place for all people to live. A safe place where our children don't have to be branded as sexual harassers for something as stupid as kissing a little girl on the hand. And you know what? We're going to make sure that our education system is built around the idea of actually educating our young children and not exercising totalitarian control over them by striking fear in their hearts and branding them these awful titles like sexual harasser just because they get a little bit out of line. We're going to stop this, sure enough, folks. I'm Ann Mickelson, and I approve this message.